Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time we upload, which is every Monday. Yeah. And today we are making what are we making? We're making chocolate mousse brownies. Rina, how could you forget? I brownies know, are brownies like, are like my favorite thing. I'm sorry. This is the love of a life. And <laughs> we have made a lot of brownies on this channel, but we haven't made one in some time now. Yeah. And, and this is an awesome recipe. So. Yeah, something really classic. And um, I'm really excited <laughs> as usual. Yes. Yeah, so, so let's, let's get into the video. So for the brownie part of this, you will require these ingredients. So there's some cocoa powder. There's some regular flour. We're not using any raising agent this time. They're going to be super fudgy. Some eggs, both white and brown sugar, melted butter, a little bit of coffee. This is just instant coffee powder and a little bit of vanilla. So the first thing you want to do is put the melted butter in a large bowl and add both the sugars and mix these through. And this mixture is going to be pretty grainy. So don't worry about that. To this you want to add in both the eggs, uh, your vanilla, coffee as well as cocoa powder and mix everything till completely smooth. Once all of those are mixed, it'll look something like this and then you want to fold in all the flour and make sure you fold it just till it's just mixed through. You don't want to over mix it at all. So just till you stop seeing the white streaks in the batter. So the batter is ready and we'll be pouring it into this pan. It's a 9 by 7 inch pan but you can use an 8 by 8 as well. And you can use baking paper on the bottom but we've just greased and floured it. And you want to transfer all of the batter and bake these for 25 minutes at 175 degrees. So this is all ready for the oven and uh, the way you know it's done is that after 25 minutes you just want to insert a skewer and you'll still get a few crumbs on it and that's completely fine. So the first fine. thing you want to do is bloom the gelatin which means you just put it in the water. Give it a little stir and then keep this aside for 5 minutes. So now what you want to do is after the gelatin is bloomed you want to take the cream. And add to it the coffee and the bloomed gelatin. And just heat it till everything is mixed uniformly until the cream is simmering. So once the cream comes to simmer, just take it off the heat and now you want to pour this over the chopped chocolate and then stir that as well till it's, heavy, till it's completely combined. So once it's uh, completely smooth, you want to just uh, fold in your whipped cream. A little bit at a time, you want to do it in two batches and just fold it through. So once you fold the whipped cream through, it looks something like this and yeah, it is a little liquidy but of course there's gelatin in it so it will set. So you just want to pour it over your brownies, make sure they're completely cool and just pour it over top and then just put it back in the fridge to set and leave it that till it's completely set and don't try to cut it before that and that's pretty much it. Once it sets, you can garnish this with a drizzle of chocolate and um, and just cut cut squares out of it and it'll be the perfect dessert. So you saw the video and it was really simple and um, do you want to say what you thought? I love this, okay? I genuinely loved it. Uh, the chocolate mousse on top was amazing, I thought. I mean, I love regular brownies on their own as well, but these even looked so much better. Like, uh, it was so yeah. much easier to photograph them. I mean, trust me guys, brownies are not that easy to photograph. They taste amazing, they may not always look amazing. 
Yeah. He's even local. Which is why we didn't date brownies for a while because we were so sick of photographing them. Yeah. And coming to the brownie, yeah, the mousse as she said was perfect, was light and airy. And the brownies were fudgy, which I love because I hate cakey brownies. I think yeah, there was no raising ages in them, so yeah. they were completely fudgy. And of course, usually chocolate mousse is now gelatin, and this one did. But that's because we wanted to cut squares, of course, out of it and make it yeah. look really neat. So that was required. But all in all, it was it was great. The coffee cake was amazing. Everything it was just really good. Yep. So if you like the video, please do give it a big fat thumbs up. We really appreciate that. And share the video, comment on it, or request whatever you want us to make next if you have anything. Yeah, and subscribe because it's free, of course. And follow us on our social media to see what we've been doing so far. Yep. Bye, and see you next Monday.